Welcome to T10 One Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. What's good? I'm all right. How are you doing? Great. I'm fine. Okay, so let's start with um, congratulating Chinku Ekum, who shares photo as he completes the compulsory NYC program. So I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's made name for himself in the industry already, and he's also doing the expected thing of him as mm. a citizen of the country. And it's good to also see that he completed his education, right? Because some people just decide, oh, Once they get into you the know, music. I'm big already. Mm. What is this certificate going to do for me? But this should serve as a good example to so many up and coming artists also trying to pursue a course or two. Yeah. Yeah. You've said it though. I mean, everybody should pick a lesson from this, especially up and coming artists, like you said. Because a lot of people just get, once they get into the music industry, even when they are not doing great, they feel like, oh, I've, I'm going to stick to this music and no. Music is a thing you can be educated and still be an artist. Mm -hmm. It's not like music is something that if you're doing it, you can't continue school. And there are lots of other um, artists out there that since they got into the industry, they took time out to go back to, to school, school yeah. and do what is needful because mm -hmm. you don't know what the future holds. You might want to contest for um, any political post in future mm. or something. And and it will help you understand the, the music, the business angle better, better. And you'll be able to relate with people People better. on any level, actually. Mm. Yeah. So, so that's a good one. Congratulations to him. Yeah, big shout out to Chinko. Um, yeah, like you guys rightly said, you know, it's after making a name for yourself in the entertainment industry and um, in the music industry, to be precise, and then you still go ahead to further your um, compulsory national service, right? I think that's a big one. And um, Davido did the same thing way back, and then we were all over it, right? Mm. So um, big shout out to Chinko Echo, and I think a lot of other entertainers share like this. Mm. Okay, moving on to the next story. Kylie Jenner's alleged home trespasser pleaded um, not guilty after arrest. He also pleaded not guilty to an additional felony charge of bringing contraband, a controlled substance, and drug paraphernalia into the jail where he was booked. According to documents obtained by E, um, he basically, they were in court and they pleaded not guilty. So, um... I don't understand how you just go into somebody's house. Obsession. <laughs> jump the fence, get into the place, get to the door, and they start knocking aggressively. I, I'm, I'm not sure I understand how that's that works. That's just like how I'm an obsessed You are still pleading person. not guilty. These are the kind of people that you say, please don't stress the justice system. Oh, just well, like um, the lawyer was here yesterday, and she said if you have a good lawyer, you mm. can win any case, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. So probably as a good lawyer that is telling him plead not guilty and mm -hmm. we'll sort it out okay but i mean we'll just watch how this plays out anyways yeah all right so one thing that caught my attention was the fact that she also lives in calabasas right and i'm wondering what's going on with this old calabasas new craze you get so um for the what's it called the trespasser um like she said, obsession, right? Mm. Yeah, I was obsessed. I think everyone would be obsessed with Kylie Jenner. Right. So if you were in Calabasas, you jump into a compound? No, I have too much swag for me to be jumping fence. Come you on. just stuck on Instagram. Down. Instagram, come on, man. You should walk up to me or something. Why are you guys fronting? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, back to the story. Um, the trespasser, um, he was pleading not guilty. Like you said, the lawyer said um, they can make anything out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the things he walked into jail with, like when it was booked and all of that, I'm wondering who in the right senses would do that. Like, after you've been, is it not just right for you to just dispose instead of getting yourself into more mm. trouble? Because even if you get out of this one, you're still in trouble for, for that the, one. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just crazy. So um, let's see how this plays out, like you said. All right, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, it will be more conversations on trending entertainment stories. <music> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still.
end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Alibaba. Oh, Alibaba. Across TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story up for conversation. A fellow citizen of Nigeria seems to think that Davido is unworthy of emulation. On previous episode, we spilled some tea on the drama between Davido and Kayode Ogundamisi, which ensued from the arrest of um, the young ladies who accused Davido of impregnating them. But um, somebody has, else has decided to weigh into it. And um, this person is another political public servant. Um, he decided to say... Let me just quote what he said and how he said it. His name is Ajuri Ngalali. I hope I got that pronunciation right. And he's saying any young person who defines himself by what material he has access to is unworthy of emulation. Only empty, pe empty people use material success to oppress or malign others. You can do better and be a better role model for the billions who look up to you. And trust bloggers to say, he's saying that... The video is not what's being emulated. Mm. So I'm coming to you, Ewa. Me? How do you feel about this? Uh, to be honest, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with him because, I mean, there are people who have um, their good sides and their bad sides, you get. And you can't say that somebody is not worthy of emulation. I mean, we're adults. I feel like people should, if you're following somebody or mm. somebody is your role model, quote and unquote, you should feel, I mean, that person can be perfect, you get. So what you want to pick in that person, you should know that, okay, I'm following this person because of this, not because of the other bad side. I think side what on. he's picking on, though, is the fact that he said he ends, um, what he ends in a show is something Coyote doesn't, mm -hmm. right? If, if I'm getting it right. But it's so, a fact. But also, I also saw something. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a fact. Actually, it's a fact. Maybe not. But I also saw some people reacting, saying that if you, if I have a personal problem with you, like everyone else has an issue and you decide to drag my family into I would into react. It, I, I don't know how I react, but I would definitely react. Yeah. And if this is his own way of reacting, you cannot, because of this very one, now claim that David Doe, is not worth being mm. emulated. And also this idea of, oh, your material things and your wealth is not one of the things that should be bragged about. What you should brag about in life is what exactly? I don't, I don't know what, what it was <laughs> to brag that about. Your accomplishment. Your accomplishment. Is that not part it's, of your I mean. <laughs> You know, it is when um, it doesn't fit their own narrative that they decide to shift the goalpost most of the time. It's not... I mean, this I'm not saying, is... like you said yesterday, he could have responded in a better way, mm. but we all know he was angry. Mm. And... I would like to add that this person, for me, when I just saw this tweet, I just said, like, well, Nigeria and misplaced priority. Mm. This person is a political body. I mean, we have a lot of um, societal issues trending, and he has never commented. And is this David's own that I decided to pick interest in? Mm -hmm. Amazing. We see our leaders, we see what they are doing. Mm. I wonder if elderly people that have this um, sense of, um, what's it called now, entitlement. This one is not that, yeah, or whoever you are. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not even talking. I'm talking about um, the guy who, yeah, and their sense of entitlement. And then this guy that is a political uh, aid and is saying that um, David O is not worthy of emulated. I want them to remember a saying that says respect is reciprocal. Mm. If you disrespect me, I would disrespect you. I don't care how old you are. I'm not being rude, but it's just how life works. Do you understand? If you drag my family, I'm entitled. I'll drag you. I'll drag you. 
anyhow I will I'll drag you through the mud mm. I really do not care who you are I really, really do not care how old you are but do not drag my family me. in my personal issues so if you have a problem with me address me as David O don't call my uncle don't call my family don't talk about the way I will be as the first cousin of Ocean mm. State don't call me and, <laughs> do you understand like you said so many unnecessary things and then the young man replied you in the best way he deems fit and everybody has a problem with it. Do you mean, understand? So even talking about the problem that the reason why I had to react like that. I mean, I was going to say that. Let's focus I, on. I faced people, not exactly a, a, a an a jury, mm -hmm. the guy in question now, but I've encountered people like this where someone does something really horrible to me, right? I respond, and then instead of focusing on what that person did, you decide to come at me to tell me how I shouldn't have responded in in that way. I said, okay. I agree. I shouldn't have responded in that way. I apologize, but can we go back Focus to on the it. issue on ground? And, and they tell you, know that no, we can't go back to that wrong. issue. Yeah, even very nice to apologize, and right? <laughs> 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 to be honest, you're nice to apologize because if if you didn't do anything, I won't react. Mm. If you didn't see anything, I'm sure a lot of people were saying, "Um, David didn't act right." Oh, and have he, you seen the C-Boss video like, though? Yeah, so it's. I, I used to, do you see that shared with you? She too, she came out to talk about how it was very inhumane. That doesn't mean that everybody now walks around with a handcuff. And you know when we were watching that video, you mentioned something Ewa, about how um, the handcuff is it that Which special? Is again? Is it a special <laughs> a special special has? A handcuff, and I said, for there to be a handcuff, handcuff in this video, yeah, there must, there be, must a be a policeman police involved. involved. So if you no, tell me, I, no, no, look, the, the um, we have differences, right? We have people, we have um, police officers mm -hmm. that are attached to certain people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And then we have um, cases that you have to go to the station to officially report. Mm. So even the type of person that have like four. Um, policemen attached, policemen yeah. attached to me and they carry handcuffs around mm. us. That give me the right to start handcuffing everyone. Mm. Now, that's the problem everyone is seeing with mm. this video, right? Which we have all agreed that it is a problem, right? So, be, but if it was an official police statement, oh, the girls have been caught and then they're handcuffed and all of that, we know that, okay, this is the police doing their job. Mm. So was saying that. Which Tibos again? Really, no, you see, know who see, my she point is, is, but she was saying that people. I should have let them know, saying, you know that, that they're, this, they're, they're irrelevant. I'm like, you this, coming out to say table, someone is irrelevant, does that even sound nice? On to this me? table, we all agree that this what he did here is just because he's a public figure. A lot of Nigerians do it. Mm. I mean, I would not like it's a bad example, but I would like us, I would like us to throw back to Senator Abba's case. It was his policemen that were mm. there too, and mm. he used them until now. I mean, nothing has been heard of the case, mm. so now because even won an award. After, that. after mm. that, now because it is a David that's Do. a sex toy senator. In case you forgot, mm. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> why is that explicit? People, so they can remember. remember. Mm. Uh, and now because it's now a David Do. So you are benching. <laughs> and, and to me, I feel like this is not a case of PDP versus APC. APC. That's what is going. That's on what right is now. going on here mm -hmm. right now because. If not, I don't see the need for all this. A lot of people have come, have come oh, now already mm -hmm. to tell him that what you've done is wrong. And, and I mean, he has released them. the girls, and he's even sponsoring the girls' happy yeah, lifestyle right fun. now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people should just let it go. Well, why is everybody concluding that, kind of that um, he's sponsoring their lifestyle? Because he posted a video. Are, are we trying to say that they are rich sisters, you remember? Okay. Okay. I think it's time to move on to the next <laughs> um, My colleagues share information with bloggers to destroy others. And this is coming from Yabo Ojo. She shared her thoughts via Instagram and she said, and I quote, What exactly is going on, peeps? Why are we bent on destroying ourselves? Bloggers are feeding on people's lives like there's no tomorrow. Information coming out from colleagues to the ears of bloggers, sending anonymous DMs just to tarnish people's image. I have worked in that shoe and I know how badly it hurts. Karma is a bitter truth. Leave and let's leave. And then she added one Yoba added. I don't know how to. Something be oju ban ban shape me. Oju ni afin. Okay, let's not try. Be oju ban shape me. Oju la ma fin on. Be oju ban shape me. Oju la ma fin on. See, I'm good like what that. What does it mean? <laughs> when the eyes bringing on. You're all supposed to be a Yoba guy. No, no, right? yeah, but um, what do you mean by oju la ma fin on? I understand to Juban shake me, mm. but Ojulama fin on. Uh, it's not eyes that you see and you use an um, 
take out the date. Still your eyes. Okay, please, that's the understand. But man, I don't know. I don't understand. Are you sure that's the meaning, though? I, I, that's what I said. I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. I'm, okay. Yeah, I think I'm right, actually. If there's that coming out of your eyes, if you want to take it out, you have to look into the mirror and you're still using your eye to take it out. Mm. I'm right. So, you know, I'm, I'm bad. Like me. that. <laughs> so, you've had it, though. Mm. Anyways, um, I think this just boils down to the old fake love in the entertainment industry and. Um, when some people just <laughs> this is more uh, in the Yoruba Nollywood industry. No, as, as the no, drama no, no, coming no, out from that let's even forget that. And then, um, like the lawyer we had yesterday, MC Fala, uh, right? Mm. She said, um, a lot of reporters are junkies. Mm, do you understand? Bad news. Yeah, for bad news. Do you get so, um, even if somebody comes to you with a negative story about their industry colleague, no. fact check. Do you understand? I think that's the only right thing for any proper journalist to do. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Fact check. Hear the other side of the story. Don't say because, okay, uh, Tony Abraham told me something about um, Liz Anjuri and then I just put it out there. Liz Anjuri told me something about um, Tony Abraham and I just put it out. No, sorry. They're the best example to use because I think that's the <laughs> ones who... I mean, what Iyabo Joy is saying now is the same thing Liz Anjuri came out to say, but like we all agreed her approach was kind of out of um, over the board, but she, she practically said the same thing. And mm. I, I mean, Yabo just not talking about fake news. That's not what she's talking about. She's talking about things that they want to keep personal, like your personal life. And a friend of yours, it's just like me doing stuff with Ewa, she's my co-anchor, and then she has an anonymous page going to feed them. It's not necessarily fake news, but she's feeding them an information about my life that I don't want and out there. I'm saying that. It's, it's not even an issue of fake news or no fake mm -hmm. news. It's an issue of Okay, somebody comes to tell me something about Ewa, right? Mm -hmm. As a professional journalist, it's only right that after you have told me that Ewa secret that you want me to put on mm -hmm. my um, blog site, mm -hmm. it's only right for me to reach out to Ewa right. and be like, um, excuse me, we just said something about your pregnancy. And if Ewa doesn't respond... It, yeah, and then if Ewa yeah. doesn't respond, you, then you put it at the end of your story. At the end you, of the day, the gist is still out. Yeah, um, <laughs> we tried to reach out to Ewa, but um, she said no comment. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm. That way, you've covered your <laughs> behind. Yeah, but to be, I, I totally understand what mm -hmm. Ewa is saying, and I agree with him, because most of these bloggers out there, even when they are not, they don't get their facts right, they mm. don't put it there. They don't, they just, yeah. yeah, they will just put it out there like, this is the gist, and... That's what it is. Mm. You get, and but then you know we have we have um, professional journalists and then professional platforms, and they will have bloggers that are strictly for gossip. So they are not there to practice your journalism. That is why when I see all this clamor and people saying, "Oh, they are not professional," like do you people understand that it is a blog? So until this you are ready to distinct yourself and say you are going to, be, yeah, I, I feel like to get the news platform. Like, yeah, like I feel like there are still like rules that are guiding all those people. You can't just guiding the rules that will guide. Okay, so someone comes to my DM. Okay, to, to be say. honest, I think to end this, I feel like celebrities <laughs> should just start. So we need to focus on the people, people she's talking about. She's talking about her own colleagues that are snitching on them. She, her problem is not even the bloggers because she's saying if the bloggers don't have gist, they will not put it out. But you know, people will. That's what she's it. saying. Uh -huh. So maybe they need to start understanding that because she's not the first person or the second coming to cry about this. So maybe they should understand I that understand people always pain and I understand and not do what, what they what cannot they... defend. I'm not saying don't do anything <laughs> bad. See, if you come out tomorrow and say you saw LC, what was the last place I went to? Okay, that you saw me at um um. Okay, let me not mention names. <laughs> proud. Yeah, I don't want to mention names. You know, I saw me Where there. The I was sitting with a guy. Were? I was kissing the guy, and my lawyer like, okay, so what now happened? Where did you kiss you know, the lawyer? Well, I mm. uh, let's focus on. Let's mm. not um, shift, digress. Yeah, right? you know, mm -hmm. let's focus on. The people she's actually talking about now. I mean, I don't know why people go all the way to bring other people down. down. Mm -hmm. If you want to shine, there's like enough room for you to do that. The sky is big she enough. Get, for we have so many A list celebrities out there. You can always join them. If you're doing something important, something tangible, the fact that you're bringing somebody down doesn't make you um, a star because it won't put you there. Mm. It will only bring that person down. And trust me, people rise and fall again. 
and not even in the Nigeria that we are or the world that we are now, it will just be a gist that it will pass by. We even help that person's career because mm -hmm. you draw attention to that person. So people need to do better and act right, to be honest. Stop giving other people secrets. People have secrets that they don't want out there. Let these people have their own private life and their personal life. It might not even be a secret, but they don't want it in the public, public domain. So mm -hmm. I come to share with Ife now that this is what happened to me. This is how I feel. I don't, him, I don't need him. I don't need him to go and tell the next person. Talk more of going to getting married. Or talk more of going to social media brother. to blast it, mm. to say, oh, else he said this, I said that about her. And the most annoying part is that you probably even did anonymous. So you know you are doing something wrong. If you're not doing anything wrong, you would have told the blogger to quote you. Right? That's yeah. I feel. Everybody should just keep their circle tight. Mm. That's the honest truth. Yeah. Sure. If you don't want your I mean, story. have the kind of circle that this way told me had. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the circle. Right. Yeah. Have the, um, the circle Linda KG had, I mean, to keep her pregnancy for that long and it didn't come out until she was ready to put it out there. Mm. I feel like just keep your circle tight because you can't control how people will behave. And have the kind of circle I have too. You know, yeah. if I didn't tell you I kissed you, wouldn't know. And that's how we wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Aosu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchors Ewa Oluwa, me too. And Ife Oluwa, Shukaya, you uh, too. Okay. I don't know. And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching.